Hi Heritage family, it's Tanya coming at you during this First Things First prayer challenge, beginning of our year, starting our day off with prayer. And I wanted to spend a few minutes encouraging you about hearing in the secret place. And when we go into prayer, knowing that you're entering into this very special place with the Lord that you can really be open and authentic with and that he hears you and that's where everything we need for our life is at. So the Lord gave us a lot of instruction about prayer. One of my favorites is in Matthew 6 when Jesus was on the earth and he said, but when you pray, go into your room and when you have shut the door, pray to your father who's in the secret place and your father who sees you in secret will reward you openly. And those rewards are tranquility of mind and peace and direction and godly wisdom. Those rewards are joy in the face of tragedy and uh, peace and all of the things we need to move forward with our life and victory. So, you know, life isn't always sunshine and roses and we do need to be able to hear from the Lord even when there's chaos around us. So this is the 2022 is the year of the open hand of the Lord. And the prophetic word says that there's gonna be chaos and um, crazy things happen in our world around us. But as Christians, we have an answer to that. And that's getting into the secret place and knowing exactly what the Lord is asking us to do for that day, for that month, for whatever it is, for the people in our lives around us who we have influence on, um, who we get to touch with the hands of Jesus. In Psalms 27, the Lord says this, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion, in his secret place of his tabernacle. He shall hide me and he'll set me high upon a rock. You know, uh, one of the things that I have to work on in this is making sure that my soul lines up with the word of God. That's your mind, your will, and your emotions, right? So when things are going on around us that affect those parts of our, our being, when our, our emotions are stirred up, uh, the very best solution to that is not to say, I can't handle these emotions, but to say the Lord can handle these emotions. And the place to take them is in that secret place. Because not only is he going to understand where you're at, he's going to help you take the next steps to get into his will and make sure emotions line up with the word of God. Um, same thing in our mind. You know, uh, you can think your way through all kinds of things and all kinds of scenarios, but his wisdom is pure and peace filling and full of love and full of compassion. So the secret place is where all the answers are for our lives are at. So I just encourage you with this, enjoy your prayer time today, go into that secret place, and I'll see you next time.